Welcome back. You're watching The Firm. We're discussing the great offshore takeover battle with Sandeep Parekh and Vivek Gupta. The big question I want to ask you now, and this is something that hasn't been discussed at all in detail. Why has SEBI asked uh, Bharti Shipyard to do two open offers to acquire control? Uh, Vivek, you know, we've been talking about this before this discussion started. It all dates back to the fact that the first open offer that Bharti tried to do was under Regulation 10 uh, and said that it didn't want control. It only wanted to consolidate shareholding. Then ABG jumped into the fray. Then Bharti wanted to amend its open offer and say, no, now we also want control. SEBI said no to that after two months of consideration and finally said, hey, listen, if you want control, you're going to have to do two open offers. I don't understand what that means. Can you help me understand why they need to do two open offers? Because if their first offer at 590 is a success, they might end up with 43, 44 percent. Isn't that already a controlling position? So, so what I'm not sure on facts whether SEBI has already advised uh, Bharti to make make two open offers. But be that as it may, let's let's go on that premise and let's discuss why SEBI could potentially have said it. Uh, before I go into the technicality of why SEBI has potentially gone down this route, let me say that substantively my view is that one open offer is enough hmm. uh, because, as you very correctly pointed out, the subject matter which causes the open offer is the acquisition of these shares and the control coming with these shares. So in a sense, it's, it's one consolidated transaction for which one open offer is called for and therefore substantively there should have been one open offer only. Now if SEBI has indeed gone down the route of suggesting two open offers, potentially the, there is a technicality there. And the technicality is that at the time the first open offer was announced by Bharti, uh, Bharti actually clearly stated in its public announcement that they were doing this public announcement under Regulation 10, uh, that their intent was to preserve the existing management structure of the company, and by implication, the fact that control will still continue to vest with the Shed family. They in fact, so it's they seem to suggest that because of invocation of a pledge, these shares came into their hands, but that there no controlling or strategic interest in the company per se. Uh, and they said that they were announcing a voluntary open offer merely to consolidate their holding and therefore they were, they were going under Regulation 10 and announcing that offer. Uh, subsequent to that, when ABG jumped into the fray uh, Bharti ha and announced its own public announcement, Bharti sought to make amendments to its original open offer. And I think that is where SEBI kicked in with, uh, with their interpretation of Regulation 25, which basically says on, on a, in a competitive bid situation you can, you can amend nothing. Uh, in your open offer except that you can amend the price upwards and you can amend the number of shares uh, that you purchase upwards and therefore if you seek now to introduce regulation 12 into the into the whole public announcement that technically violates regulation 25. SEBI effectively also said that if at the point in time uh, if, if, if in the first instance you asserted that you were not getting control and you announced a voluntary open offer then at whatever occasion you actually get control over the company, you must potentially make another open offer. So that's perhaps the way SEBI has technically interpreted, interpreted this, though as I said, my view continues to be that if it is essentially one transaction, they should substantively have been only one open offer. The technical misstatement uh, by, by Bharti uh, apart in, in, its, in its first public announcement. Misstatement, are you sure, Vivek? Because like you pointed out yourself, they very clearly said that they didn't want control. They changed their mind thereafter. But didn't they already have control at some point? Because by virtue of getting 14.89% of Vijay Shade's stock and Vijay Shade being the promoter of that company, they were in the sense, uh, in the shoes of the promoter, the single largest shareholder. So I'm really confused. No matter what route you take to get control, you've got control. So now why do you need to have two open offers? Sandeep, do you agree with Vivek's reading? Do you have something to add to that? And then Vivek, I'll come back to you. No, I, th I think it is a complete misreading of the regulations by SEBI and what is happening is in fact what these uh, bidders are trying to do is investor friendly and what SEBI is trying to do is investor unfriendly and it is also based on a mis misinterpretation of the regulations. I think it is very clear that once you press, cross the threshold whether it's 10, 11 or 12, there are three regulations, uh, you need to cross the trigger. Um, uh, if you cross the trigger you need to make a minimum public offer for 20%. And clearly, they have made a public offer for 20%. Now, in this case, Sandeep, in fact, they did not the, 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 cross the, any yeah. trigger. 
they did not technically cross yeah. any trigger because they were shy of 15% and it's really yeah. i mean the Unclear. jury is out on whether they acquired control by acquiring the promoter's stake by invoking a pledge that we don't know what the yeah. academic view or the regulator's view is now, now uh, yeah let me let me just come come to that point since you raised this uh, and in fact if you read the public announcement it talks of two things it talks of both voluntary offer and it talks of regulation 10 so it's saying it is triggered but in fact it is not triggered so right. it's a big confusion from the public announcement itself. You're totally right about that. But my point is different. My point is that yes, whether you cross, whether you crossed it, whether you not crossed it, whether the fact is you made a public announcement, you have committed to a minimum 20% uh, tender offer. Uh, subsequently, Regulation 26 clearly allows you to acquire more than 20%. So I think it is not only a misreading of the regulations that you're not implementing 26 which allows you to make more than 20 percent but it's also bad for shareholders because a shareholder who wants to offer more of a share into this 590 bid uh, is uh, stopped from bidding at 590 rupees so shareholders are losing out because of this wrong interpretation of the law do you think and uh, vivek okay why don't you respond to what sandeep saying then i'll do my follow-up question i know you have something to say so go ahead no, so substantively I agree. Uh, and as I said earlier, the fact is that, that this is essentially one transaction. One transaction by which certain number of shares are acquired, those shares give control and therefore one open offer is called for. So substantively I have no, no trouble with that interpretation. Uh, all that I am saying is that SEBI is probably reading the regulations very, very technically and therefore that has caused them to give the view uh, that two open offers are called for. One at the time, and this perhaps this technical reading arises from the fact that Bharti Shipyard has gone around making the public announcements itself. So Bharti Shipyard could in the first instance have said uh, that this uh, public announcement is person to regulations 10 and 12. Uh, the shades earlier had control. Now by virtue of having acquired their shares, we effectively have control and therefore we are making this open offer. Had that been said, I don't think there would have been even the technical case for, uh, for a public offer again. But that was not said. And potentially SEBI is uh, reading those public announcements technically in conjunction with Regulation 25, which states that no amendment at a later date could be made to a public announcement to, to suggest uh, that two public offers need to be made. I again caveat this whole thing by saying I'm not sure in facts whether SEBI has said this or not. Well, you I know, Vivek, I understand your caveat, but the fact is that we do understand only from sources because the two notices were sent out to the two companies individually by SEBI that SEBI has asked Great Offshore to do two open offers if it wants control, saying that you can do the first one, but since, you know, that will not give you control. If you do want control, you'll have to do a second one. I'm not sure what it means by that will not give you control. I'll come to that